Was there ever a time that you were planning on dropping out in the middle of a triathlon race? Not Giving Up has numerous mantras, tales, myths, and legends. This is what heroes build. When you're in a dire circumstance, you push yourself even harder. You struggle, you persevere, and in the end, you triumph. When you cross that finish line, climb the mountain, or get that medal, you become a role model for children and adults all across the globe for future generations. However, thinking of dropping out in the middle of the triathlon race happens more than you think. Finishing a race is hard. So how do you avoid a DNF during your triathlon race? For today's video, we'll be talking about DNF in triathlon. If you don't know what DNF means and how you can avoid it, well, be sure to keep watching. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. The term did not finish is possibly the worst in triathlon. The DNF is the dreaded result of things going wrong and forcing you to quit out, whether you intended to or not, like an uncooperative stomach, a possible injury, if you feel tired, or if you miss a time cutoff. The fact that you may cross the finish line of a half iron or iron distance race and yet be an official DNF is a puzzling aspect of longer course racing. This is particularly true for timed or rolling swim starts, in which everyone begins at various times or in separate waves. Being a champion often involves being brutally honest with oneself and being quite realistic about your odds of completing, summiting, or even surviving. Saying, I have to stop, Turning back and accepting a DNF requires guts. Your health and life are the most important things to you. Exploring your boundaries, which is best done through training, and defining the borders not to cross are both critical. Still, there is a distinction between using your mental and emotional power to overcome low moments, crossing that line, and jeopardizing your health. You will realize the difference and remain healthy if you race smart and listen to your body. Which is preferable, DNS or DNF? You should always be prepared, motivated, and hungry to win. However, you should remain at home if you are not prepared and motivated to offer your best, or even worse, if you are unwell, or if there is a family emergency in the middle or before the race. This decision needs strong logic, realistic thinking, and a sense of perspective. There will be another race for you to buy a bib, but health and love cannot be bought. There's no denying that DNF or DNS may be painful, but there are also advantages. These aren't always clear right at first, but they'll show themselves after some time to contemplate. Here are some tips to prevent DNF. Don't think about it too often. It's a huge mental challenge when you look at Ironman on paper. It's only a 3.8 kilometer swim, a 100 kilometer cycle ride, and a marathon. Most individuals haven't even run that far, much alone done so after a long and exhausting swim and cycle. So stop thinking about it too much. In my experience, it's seldom as difficult as you may assume, and the day goes by far quicker than you think. Break down the course into manageable pieces, split it down into three sections, and focus on completing each discipline. The swim will take care of itself since it is the shortest component. The difficulty should occur at the finish of the bike and the end of the run. You've screwed things up if you're in excruciating pain during the first 90 kilometers on the bike and the first 20 kilometers on the run. The importance of preparation cannot be overstated. When it comes to giving your all in a strong Ironman performance, the more you put into it, the more you receive out. But don't fall into the trap of believing that more is better. Of course, you must get into vigorous workouts, but it's also crucial that you're fresh and motivated on race day. Train hard, but remember to taper. When preparing for an Ironman, it's crucial to put in some long days to simulate the sensation you'll have throughout the race. Lengthy rides, two and a half hour runs, and long swims are all possible. These days should also be used to practice race day nutrition. Finally, remember to start your preparation early enough to give yourself a decent taper. This way, you arrive feeling energized and ready to go. Be sure to have enough fuel for the race. The most common reason for a DM DNF is a lack of preparation, usually due to the athlete's failure to complete their study. It's crucial to understand the energy levels of various meals and physiology and digestion. Athletes can typically eat 80 to 90 grams of carbohydrates each hour combined with 750 milliliters of water. If you take less or more than this, most individuals will have issues. When is it okay to DNF? 
When medically essential, you should DNF to avoid lengthy recuperation periods and miss out on significant life events. You have the globe if you have a life. It's critical to prepare yourself for the choice you'll have to make in the worst case scenario. These are some of the instances in which DNF should be considered. Inclement weather. Consider canceling the day of if the weather conditions are hazardous rather than challenging. What is dangerous to one individual may not be hazardous to another. The trick is to be aware of your limitations. Injuries. There are occasions when triathletes believe they have recovered from an injury and opt to compete. Stop racing if this occurs to you. Instead, return home by taking the shortest route back to transition, begin injury therapy, and take care of yourself. Sickness or fever. There's a risk you're still sick if you've had an illness in 5 to 14 days leading up to the race. So, stop if you're feeling okay in the morning, but become worse throughout the race. Aside from sickness or injury, some triathletes choose DNF due to a broken bike or gears that made it impossible to continue the race. That ends my video for today. I hope you learned something and applied all this information in your triathlon journey. Let us know if you find these tips and information helpful by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching and staying with me up to the end. You may like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next upload. Adios!